my parents and students. I wanted to create these little videos to help show you guys the strategies that we're using to learn phonetic words as well as irregular words in the classroom. So I'm going to show you a video on how to teach irregular words right now. These are also called sight words or high frequency words. These are words that the students just need to memorize how to spell. They are words that the students are not supposed to be able to sound out. They just need to memorize the spelling of them. Okay, so to start, we are going to show the word. So this word is name. What word is this? Name. Okay, yes, this word is name. A sentence using the word name is, my name is Mrs. Farias. Can you think of a word a sentence using Mrs. Can you think of a sentence using the word name? My name is Miss Lorraine. Great job. Okay, so now we're going to tap it out. So this means that we tap on our arm each letter in the word. Ready? Go. N A M E. Name. name. What word is this? Name. Great job. Okay, now we're going to finger spell. So we're going to use our fingers and we're going to say N-A-M-E, name. So when we finish spelling it out, you want to close it out with your hand and slide down your arm to show the completion of the word. The next stage is we're going to write it. You can use um, writing in a salt tray at home or at, in class we've been having the students write in their hand. So I'm going to put the card down and we're going to write it. N A M E. Name. What word is it? Name. Great job. Now we're going to write it in the sky. Ready? Go. N A M E. Name. What word? Name. Great job. Okay, now we're going to take a picture. Go ahead and take a picture with your brain. Take a picture. Take a picture. Great job. Let's close your eyes. And I want you to visualize the words that, or the letters that are in the word name. What letter comes first in the word name? N. Great job. What letter comes second? A. Next? M. And the last letter is? E. Great job. Okay, so during this phase of visualizing the word, you really want the students to be able to see the word in their brain and be able to picture the different letters that are in the word in their mind to help them be able to spell it with more frequency when they're writing the word. So once they are able to say each letter in the word or spell the word out loud, then we want to encourage the students to write the word down, whether it be on a piece of paper, on a dry erase board, it doesn't matter but um, that practice of writing it down is really beneficial. Thank you for watching.